Conflict and violence have surged over the past decade and have become increasingly complex. No fragile or conflict-affected state is on track to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. Conflict-induced humanitarian crises are growing, resulting in unprecedented needs for longer periods of time. Effectively addressing conflict and violence requires a significant shift and more coherent approaches between humanitarian, development, stabilization and peace actors that more effectively and sustainably address the root causes of conflict. Peace cannot be built by peace builders alone. In response, Interpeace developed a new operational approach that aims to support humanitarian, development and stabilization actors to enhance their contributions to peace. This approach is called peace responsiveness. It is anchored in global agreements, policy frameworks and high-level conferences like the 2016 World Humanitarian Summit, the Sustaining Peace Agenda, enshrined in resolutions passed by the UN Security Council and General Assembly, as well as in the OECD Development Assistance Committee recommendation on the Humanitarian Development Peace Nexus. Peace responsiveness transforms these into action. It emphasizes that humanitarian development and stabilization actors can contribute to peace even while respecting organizational mandates and modes of action. Peace responsiveness is a multi-level approach to promoting change. To achieve this, it supports the international community at the individual, programmatic, organizational and systems levels, working in mutually reinforcing ways. It aims to make interventions more effective and sustainable, while also more intentionally contributing to laying the foundations for peace. Interpeace works with partners to shift mindsets and ways of working, with the end goal of strengthening societal resilience to conflict and violence in ways that are gender responsive and that support inclusive and locally led change.